From a design standpoint, I really don't have any issues with the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. I seem to like them a lot, but if I can nitpick and point out one thing, it would be that over really long play sessions in handheld mode, they tend to be a bit uncomfortable. How's it going guys? I'm Gamehead Ness, and today I'm going to be taking a look at yet another Nintendo Switch Joy-Con alternative, whose purpose is to overall improve the ergonomic design of the Nintendo Switch when in handheld mode. But how well do these things actually work? Let's take a closer look. Inside the box you have the left and right Joy-Con along with the Joy-Con holder. You have a USB Type-C cable for charging and an extra set of analog stick caps. At first glance these Joy-Cons are virtually identical to how the standard Joy-Cons look when placed inside the comfort grip holder. The elongated edges make for just an overall more natural gripping sensation. As far as button configuration is concerned, it has virtually the exact same button layout as a standard set of Joy-Cons. Where the differences come into play is when using each Joy-Con individually. Instead of having the SL and SR buttons over on the rail guide, they're positioned on this extra lip that stays slightly protruding even even when in handheld mode. The comfort grip, if we can even call it that, is just pretty much a solid piece of plastic that you slide these Joy-Cons onto, making it a full-fledged controller for tabletop mode or console mode. Comparing it to an official Nintendo Switch Joy-Con, the differences are pretty apparent, not only in size but just overall design. The analog sticks surprisingly felt nice and springy, but I will say that the buttons did not feel as clicky as the authentic Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. They have more of a mushy feel, which isn't terrible, but it just makes me question how they will hold up over time. When you're ready to use them, you pretty much just slide them onto your Nintendo Switch, and your console should recognize them almost immediately. Of course, you can always go through the options and pair your controller through that way as well. And I must say, it was a way more comfortable experience holding these in handheld mode. The joysticks felt smooth, responsive, and precise. Testing out the built-in gyro controls, they seem to work fine as well. One thing that I have an issue with in terms of most third-party Nintendo Switch controllers is that the gyros seem to be all over the place. That wasn't the case with these. They actually worked really good. Another issue that I have with a lot of third-party Nintendo Switch controller options is the vibration. Once you get used to HD rumble from the official Nintendo line of products, it's hard to go back to anything else. Most third-party controllers have an annoying vibration that feels more like you're holding an electric shaver or an electric toothbrush than you are a gamepad or controller. But with these, even though it wasn't the equivalent of HD rumble, it still felt pretty good. I didn't feel the need to turn vibration off while playing any of the games. And although the buttons seem to work fine, I can't help but point out that they do feel a little on the cheap side. And it does make me question how they will hold up over time. Which is a shame because the analog sticks actually feel perfect. Other than the way they feel, they work just fine. And I was able to execute precise timed inputs with pretty much ease. So the ergonomic third-party Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. First, I have to say, I think it's awesome that we have so many more alternatives to the Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. That's what I like to see with a console. Variety. And we're at a point in the Nintendo Switch life cycle that we're starting to see that now. Now, as far as third-party controllers go, I would say that these are actually decent. I wouldn't rank them as high as something like the Split Pad Pro, but I would say that these are actually good. And definitely worth looking at if you're on the market for a spare set of Joy-Cons. As always, if you guys are interested, I will put links in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.